Okay, standing at the front door here, you see there's a nice tile entryway. This is the foreclosure that's going to need some work, evidently. They're doing some renovating. A uh, nice place, though. It looks like you've got a real nice open floor plan. As you come in here to the right is the master. You've got these large sliding glass doors that go out to the back that's very private. And there's a nice screened in porch here. And you've got a high ceiling coming into the master. You see there's I don't know what they're doing to the tub. If there wasn't one here and they're just putting one in, looks like there's some notes about leaving the cabinets and doing some renovations. Up top there's a little crack there along the seam. The shower is good size but missing plumbing fixtures it looks like. Right here's the toilet. Well, where the toilet is supposed to be. And here is the other side of the vanity. So tile in here and then carpet um, outside. You've got a um, large walk-in closet right here. His and her setup. And here. Coming across. Um, nice, you know, crown molding, high ceilings. The fireplace has some nice trim work around it. Plantation blinds. Big open area. That'd be formal dining and formal living area where I'm standing right now. The carpet's not in bad shape. I suspect that just the person who got foreclosed ended up taking a lot of stuff with them. Um, real high ceilings, recessed lighting, lots of windows, real nice view back here, very private. Here's a little view to the side porch. Coming around, let me give you a view of the kitchen. The kitchen is pretty basic. Um, not sure if they're going to be renovating it or not. There's tile floors. Um, it's kind of the white cabinetry that's real standard. That's That green thing there is a center island I think that's just movable. You can put it wherever you want. You'll see the sink is missing right here. Got some appliances again. Um, coming across you've got the laundry room right here. There's some water stains on the top there. Maybe a little hard to see but the roof is a nice architectural shingle which is good. Maybe it was recently done, not sure exactly. Uh, painting in here looks like they're in the process of putting new paint on the walls. Looks good. Uh, let's see. Hall bathroom, or bathroom off of the bedroom. Uh, floors and then sorry let's go look in the garage real quick so you're up fairly high it's kind of unique here um, these large holes here I think that's your AC system that's missing hot water heaters up there and then they've got a water treatment system like a water softener. So this is the way you would come in from the garage. Alright, coming back across through the kitchen. Let's look at the this side of the house. 
All right, so big open area here. Um, to the left, I guess there's a bedroom here. Yep. Have a bedroom here, and you get a view of the AC unit outside, which is way up high on stilts. Uh, evidently, this must be a lower lying area. Um, here's a walk in closet. Are some of the light fixtures they took down. So this open area here is kind of a, I don't know, bonus room if you will. Not really a bedroom. Um, here again you've got the some cracking along the ceiling in these joints where the tray ceiling is or the vaulted ceiling. But so here's a bedroom. So you have the master on the other side, you've got that bedroom that I just was in, the one that I'm in currently, and then I believe this is another bathroom here. Tile floors, kind of a standard shower tub combination here. So nothing too crazy there. And you got these built-ins that are nice right here. And that's basically it for the interior tour. Uh, let me give you a quick view of the backyard from up top here. So there's a little creek over there it looks like. A little concrete pad down below. Exterior is stucco 